realizing, you know, it's just the moon. It's just terrain. Like, creepy glowing things in the distance. And your buddy, the big scary dinosaur, that's with you all the time. <laughs> so Greetings, folks! Dunman here, and welcome back to Minecraft Mods. Today, we take a look at prehistoric fauna, a mod which includes time travel, dozens of dinosaurs and other such creatures, and a monkey robot thing, <laughs> which I'm about to fight. Okay, I'm doing this whole fight for just fun's sake, so I'm gonna be as geared up as possible. So you should be more careful than I am because I'm gonna be throwing back god apples like they're freaking milk. See, look at that strength. You are gonna wanna be careful since there are traps and individuals who might want to do harm upon you. But this guy is, is the main attraction. This is Henos. Henos is like a weird monkey golem created by an ancient group of time travelers. And he is kind of the key to everything. So you are going to want to take him out real quick. Get good gear because it doesn't seem like it. It's like a fairly difficult boss. I wonder what he uses this stuff for. This bench. It's like sits down. It's not a very comfortable place. Oh god, the laser is... It, it looks harmful. It isn't to me because... I mean because I'm... Again, god apples like milk. So let me just really quick take this giant dude out return to monkey not quite so it's more like returning monkey from from whence it came <laughs> but this is what you need from heno henos the time gem now i know that this thing shares appearance and name with one of the infinity stones and it kind of acts like it too so you're gonna need this in order to go to one of the all of the dimensions actually you're gonna need these you're gonna need a bunch of these. Yeah, so yeah, stock up on these. Destroy as many Henos as possible. This structure, they spawn around your world. They just generate randomly. So find them, take out the monkey robots, get these gems. You're gonna need three. So now we have arrived over here. This is the portal chamber. Another structure that spawns in your world. This structure, I... Here's the thing. I don't quite know. But this structure is not as important as the Henos one. This is basically a little hint to help you make the portal. The portal is made out of time machine frames and there's a lot of them over here if you want to just make the portal over here. But you can also just make the portal by yourself after discovering Henos' temple. Because the way to do it, it's called the time machine frame and it's made like this. A clock with Henos stone around it. And Henos stone is just this. This stuff spawns around the temple, so yeah, you can make the portal wherever you want. The way you make the portal is just... I'm not gonna do, do it in the wetness. I'm just gonna build one over here. <laughs> Say, come on, it's more convenient. This one, you can't build it like a, like a nether portal. It actually has to be a square. So, yep, there has to be a 3x3 three three area in the middle. Then, you're gonna need one of these fossils. Okay, these are like the ores i guess and this is what they drop cretaceous jurassic and triassic today we only need this one the cretaceous fossil because that's where we are going plop down a crafting table throw in your time gem throw in your cretaceous fossil and boom totem of cretaceous and this basically is your fill and steel right click this and bang there you go you get all of these particle effects and let's 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 go look at some dinosaurs because i know that's what you're here for you want to see the dinosaurs you don't care about portals you want dinosaurs i want them too i had to read so much oh there's always a t-rex the time machine i don't know what that's a reference to i don't want i don't know what either of the, those are references to but but, but oh god such a horrifying oh god it sucks it sucks Let, oh come on let's have oh, cut cut now i don't know if you saw anything not one thing so here we are i dug myself out of the cave and this is cretaceous times you have these giant trees you have the sprawling desert and most of all 
dinosaurs. So let, let's let's get started. What is that name? What is that name? How do I? Oh God, the names! I'm gonna have to do the names. Okay, I kind of switch these two around so I get to do an easy one to start with. This is the city party. I, the, uh, the reason I say it like that because I've already made a joke about saying it like that in a previous episode. Jurassic World Reborn, one of the first videos on my channel, brings back so many good memories, man. I remember waiting for that mod to release, and yeah, it was great. It's one of the big ones. Ooh, what's that? I'm sorry, I've been instantly distracted. This, I believe, is one of the structures. It's, I think it's the only structure <laughs> in this dimension. Uh, it's called the Something Hut. The some, I believe it's called the Hell Creek Hut. And it has a bunch of paintings, Cretaceous fossils. You can actually use these to make like fossil statues, which is pretty cool. I'll show those off in, a, in the next episode or sometime. And oh! This is actually a good, good segue because... Uh, <laughs> Because you're going to need this. I was going to show this to you at the end of the episode anyways. This is the ancient journal. Basically, you have three of these, leather over here, and you'll make basically an encyclopedia. And it'll give you all the information about this mod. Pretty cool. So let's, let's get started. This... Great sounds. Fantastic sounds. Are there rarians? Oh, they sound... Okay. Not, not, sounds are not as good when there's a hundred of them making them. But I love this style. Okay, it's vibrant without being like crazy. Like it still looks like a real animal, but it still looks like a Minecraft creature. I mean, come on. Then there is the A Pi or No Thomimus. Disappointing is what you are. <laughs> such a long name for such a little creature. It's, uh, you know, what? whatever. <gasps> Sit down, they go to sleep. Actually, they all go to sleep. That's, that is insane, by the way, that they have added so much personality to these creatures. And in the nighttime, at nighttime, their eyes glow. Oh my god, it's fantastic. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to show that off too. The eyes glowing is crazy, dude. I saw it on a small dinosaur. Oh, it's going to look insane on the T-Rex. Then there is the Pina Coladosaurus. It's pretty cool, man. You're like the perfect height for a table. Oh yeah, look at that. Your child is like the greatest footstool ever. <laughs> he just <laughs> turned around and looked at me <laughs> with suspicion. <laughs> I, I won't use him as a footstool. I'm just saying that your your species is like a very good furniture. I'll, I'll move on. I'll move on. There is the place of her Oh, that's, that's kind of cool looking. Look at that. That's I don't even know what that is. But that those are lovely colors that like nice teal going down the back it's like a little bit of green thrown in oh it's great it's a great looking cre i mean i realize that they're not making this up i mean the colors they probably are but this thing actually existed to some degree right right this thing isn't as loud as i thought it would be protoceratops this is the little 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 thing right <gasps> oh are you nocturnal because you're sleeping during the day. So it might be nocturnal. Telasmosaurus? Or... No, there's no H. Telasmosaurus. <laughs> Man, disappointing. Not the... The, cre the, mod, the model is fine. It's just you as a being is just... I mean, after after table right there, you are... <laughs> you're not... <laughs> it isn't a Donewars video. Unless one Minecraft mob doesn't get bullied for his appearance. It just doesn't feel right. Velociraptors! Oh, these are, these are, I'm sorry. Science? I agree. This is what they looked like. Are they cool? No! No, they're not. Stop showing me pictures of birds with blood on their faces to convince me these are awesome. I would kick one of these things to the moon and beyond. And there's nothing they could do to stop me. Okay? Oh! There he is. My my lifelong rival. <laughs> okay. If, if you don't know what I'm talking about. If you do. Oh my god, you're the goat. But if you don't. Basically, a couple of years back. Not a couple of years back. It hasn't been a couple of years, has it? Oh god. 
many months, many moons ago, I basically posted a sketch on my community tab saying who would win? Rather, no, no, no. How many clones of me, a big strong man, would it take to defeat one ankylosaur? And I got a plethora of comments. Some of them said it didn't matter. It's like it would defeat me no matter how many of me there were. Some of the people were correct and said that it would only take one. And uh, so, yeah, again, I asked the question, who do you think would win in a fight? Me? Or this dollar right here. <laughs> then we have the Basilum Mice. <gasps> Little turtle. Oh, those are gigantic nostrils. Are they eyes? Oh no, those are some big old sniffers right there. Oh yeah, you can smell sound, my friend. <laughs> oh, we've oh, been back to a shell. <laughs> That's the, okay, little touches like these is what makes mods great. This, oh my god, this one came out of nowhere. Prehistoric fauna. It's like, I found it, and I am so, like, impressed by this mod. It's, like, so detailed. It's, like, insane, insane hard work. Like, hello, do you have babies? Yes, you do, and they're cute. I'm sorry for what I'm about to do, but it'll be cute. <gasps> oh, it landed on the chest! Oh, I love the little turtle. <laughs> <laughs> and what are we doing now? We're doing the scary ones, the big ones. First of all, we have Bicycle. Nope, what's his name? Sai... Is there any water anywhere? Is that... That's like nasty water. Whatever. Get in there. You're a fish. You're meant to swim. In a nasty swamp, apparently. But you're meant to swim. So this is probably the most mundane creature we've looked at so far. But it's nice. It adds atmosphere. We have the Dakota Raptor. Or Dakota Raptor. I don't know how, you, how you'd say it. That's a big head. That is a huge head. Menacing, but huge. Those claws are pretty cool, though. I like the claws. They're scary. This, I don't know about the flat legs, though. Those, how are you supporting the weight? How is the balance happening? How? How's it taking place? Tell me. Then we have the Didelphodon. Th this is us, isn't it? This is what human beings w were, was it? It's like it's like <gasps> this. You were like a shrew, and then this this is us. <sighs> God, we've come far, though. I mean, from that to this. I mean, come on, that's crazy. That's I mean, round of applause for, for evolution. <laughs> Round of applause. Actually, no, I'm going to let it turn to night because you're going to see this, like, ecosystem turn to night with me. It's going to be pretty cool. We have the Myla Dis... Oh, another fish. A very flat one. It's like, you're perfectly suited to the swamp, this, like, shallow water. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's so much taller for you because you're just like a squished little fish. Gar, again, are these huge? I thought they were huge. No, it's just a tiny little fish again. That's a pretty cool view. I like this texture. The swampy water, too. It's a vibe. I like it. We have... Th oh, I refuse to. You look like a super dodo. <laughs> come on, look at look at the coloring uh, around his head. Super dodo, come on. Are you asleep? Wake up. There, there's your eyes. That is a beautiful way of going to sleep. That is a wonderful way of going to sleep. Triceratops. And there it is. Oh, that's how the eyes look like. They blink! Why doesn't anything else blink in Minecraft? Why don't we have blink technology in vanilla Minecraft? How is this mod outdoing the game so hard right now? It, it's, it's great. I love it. Oh, imagine like a herd of these and you're in the distance. I can just see twinkling, glowing eyes. Ooh, wait, wait, let me do this one real quick. You're a nasty lizard. You're cool. Whatever. Let's move on. Not, not even close to this guy. This is why you clicked on this video. It's a T-Rex. Oh, boy. There it is. That is terrifying. That is terrible. Look at those forward-facing eyes. Let me get a screenshot. Let me actually, like, 
go in and stand still for a second, my friend. No, come on, man. Just stand. F it's like, come on. Okay, that is adorable. That is that is a better screenshot. That is perfect for the community tab. And click. There we go. Now, now I have something to post like a couple minutes before the video starts. Oh, yeah. It's great. It's just life is nice. It's it's just life is just pl life is just pleasant, you know. It's just the moon, it's just terrain, like creepy glowing things in the distance, and your buddy, the big scary dinosaur that's with you all the time. <laughs> so what is that? What it what is this? The eyes? Wait, what? What is this? What is this animal? That's not part of the ecosystem. What is this creature? That doesn't happen in nature. Oh my god. That's that's a mystery. Best left to the next episode. For now, I hope you've liked. I hope you've commented. And I want to thank you so much for 6,000 subscribers. Huge milestone. 4,000 to go for another big one. So yeah, hit subscribe. And for now... A goodbye.